The Israeli military said Sunday it had struck more than 100 military targets in the last day belonging to Hezbollah in southern Lebanon. The army released footage said to show airstrikes on the Hezbollah targets in the area of al Matmura. Israel has meanwhile ramped up strikes on the southern neighborhood of Beirut known as the Dahia, a crowded residential area. Hezbollah has a strong presence there, but it is also home to large numbers of civilians and people unaffiliated with the Lebanese militant group. A year of escalating tensions boiled over into all-out war last month. Israel sent ground troops into Lebanon at the start of October. Israel's war against Hezbollah, the Iran-backed militant group, stretches far inside Lebanon, and its airstrikes in recent weeks have killed more than 1,700 people, about a quarter of whom were women and children, according to local health authorities. Some of the more than 50 Israelis killed by Hezbollah over the past year were hit by anti-tank missiles. The Israeli military said Sunday that more than 170 rockets were launched from Lebanon at northern Israel. Israeli firefighters worked to extinguish a blaze in northern Israel Sunday after rockets were launched from Lebanon. Israeli police officers were seen next to the site of a fire directing traffic, after an attack in the area near the town of Rosh Pina in northern Israel. The Israeli army updated Sunday that, approximately 160 projectiles that were fired by Hezbollah crossed into Israel. Hezbollah began firing rockets into Israel a day after Hamas' October 7 attack. After nearly a year of tit-for-tat fighting with Hezbollah, Israel launched its ground invasion into southern Lebanon on October 1, 2024, and has since sent thousands of troops into the rugged terrain. Israel's war against Hezbollah, the Iran-backed militant group, stretches far inside Lebanon, and its airstrikes in recent weeks have killed more than 1,700 people about a quarter of them women and children, according to local health authorities. Some of the more than 50 Israelis killed by Hezbollah over the past year were hit by anti-tank missiles. A drone attack has been launched on Zerzinsk city in Russia's Nizhogorod region, local telegram channels reported. Ukrainian kamikaze drones hit a military plant. As a result, an explosion occurred in the factory area. No casualties have been reported. The plant, which is one of the largest defense industry enterprises in Russia, produces explosives, shells, equipment for mining and oil and gas industry, seismic and geophysical fields. The plant is included in the Western sanctions list.
Вот он лежит, блядь. Осколок двух. Видел спушку? Сейчас видно. Всем здорово. Всех еще приветствую. Ну что, друзья, на дворе 20 октября 2024 года. Вот и до города Ержинска. долетело можно так сказать только что на завод свердлова обрушилась атака дронов были взрывы причем такие не слабые но они до сих пор продолжаются по сути где-то примерно я насчитал 14 по крайней мере дронов вот сейчас слышно стреляют на территории завода Сбивают эти беспилотники, но они все равно долетают. Где-то 7 долетело уже до самой цели. Видел спушку? Сейчас видно. 